Well, welcome back. So, today I uh, just reached in the bucket of locks that I got from uh, Bill Bacardi and pulled out a challenge lock. Um, I can tell you that this thing probably has a wicked bidding on it because uh, all of his does. <laughs> so, this uh, should be an interesting one. Um, Bill Bacardi number 13. So. Uh, looks like he's been into the top of it, too. Um, and, yep, there it is. <laughs> I figured as much. Ah, uh, look at that. That is insane. That is, that's beyond challenge lock bidding. Um, yeah. So it's a Yale style keyway, so that makes it even worse. Um, we are going to put this in the vise and see if I can get it open. <laughs> ah, I'm going to be playing an overset game with that bidding, though. Jeez Louise. All right, um, let's uh, get the vise over here and see what we can do with this. Um, in the vise, let's see. Um, Yale style, should be able to use, what, 40 thousandths in that? That's this one. Let's see here. Is it too big? Nope. Uh, I don't like the way that fits. It's almost kind of... Yeah. Let me, let me grab my homemade one. Let's see if it fits a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit tighter. Alright, and... Um, let's go with my 18... Or... No, let's go with my 15 thousandths gem. And I am going to try to work from the bottom of this keyway. I don't ever do that, but um, we're going to give it a shot. Try to pick around that warding. Um, I'm going to do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock, though. And uh, pull forward and search for a binder here. Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I touched two and got a false set. So now I'm kind of looking for spools, maybe. Two. Okay, I got him. Okay, I just touched four. Went even deeper. Uh, I'm getting counter on four now. Uh, I didn't get my. Either I didn't get him set, which I'm trying right now, or I overset. There we go. I think I got him. But I think I lost my false set. I think I may have just overset. I feel like an overset. Every time I touch four, I feel like I go into an overset here. So I drop him back down. This is what I'm doing. Hmm. That's weird. I'll hop up on this ledge and see what I can do here. Maybe I'm just not getting him set all the way. No. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, I felt like I just set him, so that was good. Let me have an overset though. Definitely four, but every time I touch him, it goes to an overset. I wonder if I'm catching two pins at once with this gem. Um, it's very possible. Let me see if I can grab... I've got a thin euro hook here. Sorry. Arm right in the way of the camera. I've um, got a thin euro hook here. It's pretty deep. It's a little bent, but um, I'm going to give it a shot here. See if maybe I'm touching more than one. Oh, hello. Just touched five, and okay, hold on. Okay, 
hit and counter. Okay, I just got him set. Okay, and I just touched five and went deeper. I feel like I got four set now. Okay, feedback went away. Hold on. Oh, that was three. Oh, not set. Just got counter on him. Come on. Set. Oh, I just dropped it. Drop two. Nope. Okay, there was two. Come on. Losing the lock and the vise, I think. Tighten that up just a little bit. Now I'm getting definite counter on three, but that is too thin. Hmm. Feedback. Oh, hold on. Wow, I was getting some strong counter on too. Okay, I think I got him set. Okay, I just touched five. Went to a deep false set again. Hmm. Okay, every time I touch four, get the counter, but then I lose my false set. Either I'm just not getting him all the way set, or I know he's up there tall. I can feel that. Oh, hold on. Just went really deep. Gotta be close here. There's gotta be a T pin hanging me up or something. Either that or I'm in an overset trap, which is possible too. This is a Bill Bacardi lock. Um. There it is. Wow. Um, yeah, I think I may have been in an overset trap. That's a hell of a lock, man. Um, with that bidding, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, though. Um, let's uh, zoom out and see what we got here. Wow, what a lock. Um, <laughs> let's uh, square this up and keep all that in frame. And let's gut this thing. Let's see what we got here. Mm. You know, sometimes they open fast and sometimes they don't, but I kind of knew right away when I grabbed this lock out of the bucket. I was like, no, this is going to be a, this is going to be a pick. Because, <laughs> uh, like I said, his, his wicked beyond challenge lock bidding and, uh, yeah, okay. Enough babbling on. Let's see what, what Bill Bacardi put inside of this thing, man. <laughs> uh, let's see here. It's tough, 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 tough. All right, Get that clip off the back, and we will shim it because it is a challenge lock. 
And if you haven't checked out Bill Bacardi, he is now picking locks as well. Um, I mean, I think he's always been picking, but he's actually putting them on video. So, um, that back piece, I'm probably a hollow follower. Um, so, go check him out. I think actually his first picking video happens to be one of my locks. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, one, if you just touch one, it's, it's right at the share line. So, I mean, that's the overset right there. Uh, same thing on three, you barely have to touch it, and and six is, um, <laughs> yeah, barely touch it as well. Um, but all the key pins are in and working. Yeah, what a lock. That's awesome. Uh, let's dump this and see what kind of awesomeness he put inside. Uh, one is a very serrated pin. Uh, two is a spool. Uh, nice overset trap there. Uh, another spool and with a serration on the bottom of three. Four is a nicely um, serrated pin. Five is another spool. And uh, six is a double spool. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, looks like you have, or we have uh, threading in one, two, three, four, five, and six is lightly threaded, but it's also oversized, I believe. Kind of looks like it's a little oversized there. Uh, I don't know if those threads in the back since they're very light. Yeah, they're showing up. Yeah. Like I said, everything's threaded. Uh, what a demon of a lock here, man. <laughs> uh, it's a beast. Okay, we're going to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark this first uh, before I forget. Make sure I know which way's the front. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we got upstairs here. We have a spool, a very short spool in one, which also kind of tapered on the edge, so that makes great for oversetting. Um, ooh, a deep spool in two. And a silver spring, or uh, I guess that's probably steel. Um, then in three, we have another spool. Oop, and a silver spring or a steel spring and I'm seeing threading in all the chambers so far I'll try to get a better view of that here in a minute I'm gonna go from the back get the last three uh, looks like we have another very short spool with a uh, kind of a yeah cool. and a copper spring in six and oh another spool in uh, Oh, hold on. Ah, just dumped him out. Um, steel spring, and then end. And we had another spool. Yeah. <laughs> and another steel spring. Uh, in the Bible, it looks like we had all threaded chambers as well. Yeah, everything's threaded up there. Wow, I don't know how well my camera's picking that up, but... Yeah, they're all all threaded, every one of them. So, um, yep. All right, let's zoom in on these. Bill Bacardi, thank you so much for sending me this lock and pinning this lock up. It is an awesome, awesome lock. It's uh, Bill Bacardi number 13. I have pity on the guy I send it to next. How about that? Um, <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. Um, there you go. It looks like we've got... Uh, as I said before, we've got a nice serrated key pin in one, uh, spoolish in almost uh, heavy serration, almost a spool, then a serrated in three, four is a double, um, then we have a definite spool in uh, five, and a definite double spool in six. Then up top, we had a spool, spool, a different kind of spool, spool, and a uh, spool. All spools up top, but they were different kinds, and uh, some of them were really short. Uh, and then we had uh, copper, steel, 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 a steel, and a copper in six. So, awesome lock. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. And don't break the law.